right, welcome to another exciting Technology Tuesday. Uh, I'm excited for the show we have for you guys today. We have some Zoom features that have dropped, and we also have three new apps for you to share uh, to help you grow and scale your business. So we are not going to wait another second. We are going to dive in right now. All right, all right, all right, folks. That's time. That's right. That's right. You know, it's Technology Tuesday. We are here live every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Greg Russell here in the building. Jerry Franklin Poe, your technology solutions to give you that practical knowledge, the practical application. So you get that time back for your life and not have to be stuck trying to figure out all of the technology issues for your business. So we're trying to make things easier for you and streamline the process and give you the insights to things that we know. Like, Greg, I didn't even tell you about this. On the weekend, I was at a, a conference on AI, artificial intelligence, really? at a Lehigh University. And uh, it was interesting. It was interesting to hear what these professors um, or scientists, or you want to call them, were talking about in terms of AI. Uh, one of the takeaways that I started using, that I pulled them, they were like, um, please and thank you work with artificial intelligence. They say you can, they were, that they, you can talk to the AI and get better results if you use the same type of gestures you will with a human being. Yep. Yep. I, uh, I, I typically do that. Um, but I didn't think about it was a thing. I just, I guess the example I saw when I was initially learning how to, you know, create some prompts, the example I saw, it was, that's how it was done. Um, like when it got something back and it was good, it was like, you know, thanks. And you did a great job. And then he went into the next thing. And so it was, it was definitely like, you know, communicate with it like a human and you'll get better results. So I, I never really thought about, um, because I learned it that way. I never thought about how other people might do it. So I, I guess that's a, it's a, it's a good tip, man. And it, Anything, yeah. Well, if you do anything else, it goes back to it goes back to learning how to do prompts. So, mm -hmm. you know, just like anything, just like anything that's out there, right? How many people took a class on Facebook before they got on Facebook? Who took a class on Twitter now X before they? Who got? Who took a class on Instagram? A lot of people are figuring this stuff out through trial and error, and some people are better at trial and error than others, right? So, with when it comes to artificial intelligence. People like, oh, use chat GPT or use this or use that. But I don't know how many folks thought about it because do they really see artificial intelligence as, I won't say a person, but like, you know, some people just still think they're talking to a machine, but it's not really a machine machine, if you follow what I'm saying. Uh, and they gave a good example. They said, you know, if you want to start to think about artificial intelligence differently, watch the movie Creator. And I did. I watched the movie Creator this weekend. Um, and it does change your perspective a little bit about art, AI, artificial intelligence, in terms of how you see it and uh, think about it. Now, of course, some of this is for those of us who've watched Star Trek or uh, Star Wars. You know, you've been dealing with androids, which basically was artificial <laughs> intelligence your whole life. But I don't think we look at androids the same way as we look at the AI that we're dealing with. And this movie, um, the creator, delved into human existence and how we interact with artificial intelligence and whether or not that's a healthy combination or how it can become an unhealthy combination. That's, that's yeah. an interesting topic. And I, and I, I actually did see the movie and yeah, it, it definitely makes you think differently. And I like the reference to you know, the star Wars with the androids. Cause a lot of times they, those droids have their own personality, um, which is pretty cool. And how, how you, how you interact with it will depend on their, or, or what you get back from it will depend on their personality. Um, yeah, which is pretty yeah. cool. And I, I, I like that. So that's, that's cool, man. I, I, uh, I, I didn't know, um, that you, that you did that. And that's really cool. And, and AI is definitely a hot topic. Um, right now I'm getting some feedback and information on how the, uh, the AI act in the Europe in the European Union is kind of 
leading the way, just like they did with the GDPR, right? It was all about what they were doing and then everybody else followed. I don't know why they're always leading it, but <laughs> they're leading that right now. And they're, you know, having some standards about how we can use AI and what's acceptable and what's not. If we have to um, reveal that we're using AI in communication in some form, like all of that, all of that's coming. So um, we will have a show when we get the updates and try to be the first to let you guys know about uh, those laws and changes that will affect your business. Um, but I'm just diving into it now. So in the future, just so you know, that, that's definitely what's coming. If definitely people have coming. to start revealing that they're using AI, it's going to upset a lot of people's worlds. Because you're like, <laughs> oh, I thought this person was really smart. Man. They sound so great. And then you realize, nah, that wasn't them. They were using the artificial intelligence to rewrite their stuff to make yeah, it sound yeah. better. You know, what's what's interesting uh, is um, I've been you know dabbling with some AI, and I found it's depending on the on the platform or the experience. I would, like if it's voice AI that's either giving you a call or you're calling into it. I found that it's um, people respond better when you just tell them, "Hey, this is an AI agent, and my purpose for this call is X," um, and uh, this call should take approximately X number of minutes. Um, do you have time to do it now? Right. And so usually when you reveal that um, and you reveal why you're making the call and that it's AI and that its job is to save time, you know, it, it, it works better for us. And at least, at least, at least the thing I've been playing with <laughs> and, and testing out that has definitely worked uh, a lot, a lot better for us. So yeah, man, AI is definitely yeah, a hot topic. And it's all the contents. Yeah, yeah. It's the well, context of how are you, are you using AI to communicate with people in a written format? Like, are you just getting script, you know what I mean? Like copy, or are you having it answer phone calls for you or talk to people? Yeah. Yeah, I've been having it actually make calls. So basically when they um, opt in and they give us the number, we have the AI call them. Now, before the AI calls them on that next page that they opted in, they have a video telling them they're about to get a call. Um, from our AI. So it's like they, 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 they're being told it's happening when they get the call, they're, they're being let it known that it's AI. And on the video, I'll tell them that we use it so that we can, you know, save time and resources. And this is what we need from you. And you'll get this call. And boom, boom, boom. So it's like, well, that could be episode. Told. So I was gonna say that could be episode on itself. So for those who yeah, are watching oh, oh, right yeah. now, oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we don't want to get too far off into the weeds on this AI topic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you if that's something that folks want to hear more about, let us know in the comments. Uh, send us a message in the in the group technologytuesday.com and we can definitely do an episode on this AI strategy that Greg is talking about in terms of how he's using it to contact people and to build his list and to get more clients. But I know you yes. have a ton of resources that because you, you sent me a list over the weekend. Like, here's what we're going to be doing on Tuesday. <laughs> so I was looking at it. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to keep people. It's like, you know, it's like Christmas. We don't want to keep them waiting too long to open up them presents. All right, cool. All right, cool. Well, let's get into it. So zoom, uh, has dropped some new features and I think it's interesting the direction that zoom is taking. So let's dive into zoom and we'll show you some of these right now. So check this out. Uh, if you go into, if you log into your zoom account, you may see some new tags over here. New. And um, this one is notes, right? And so basically the notes will allow you to create um, notes inside of your Zoom account. So like while you're having a meeting, you can take notes, you can set it so that other participants can add um, to it. So it's sort of like a shared document if you want, right? Um, and the cool thing about notes, Jerry, is that even though you're, you can, so we can create a note right now, like, you know, we create a note right now. And, um, you know, this is a new note for technology Tuesday, right? And so, um, we can have it now and it could be a documentation copy and paste in here. And you can see you have the basic editor tools like Microsoft word. Um, and then inside of your meeting, you can pull this note up. Now, the other interesting thing too, is outside of zoom, I could share this, right. And I can get a, a, a URL. And I don't have to have be in a Zoom meeting. I don't have to have a Zoom meeting going on for me to basically use this note. So what's interesting, this take on Zoom is that they're doing things now outside of meetings and webinars. It's kind of like 
we want to compete with uh, Google Docs, right, or some or some other shared document platform. So uh, if you have a Zoom account, you can now use this notes feature and see how you like it. I think again, I think it's an interesting take on their adding things that will happen out inside and outside of Zoom. So notes is a is, is one you see here. Now there's a note. And so if I go into the Zoom platform, typically under more, um, you know what? Let's see. Let's let me just start up right quick and show you because a lot of times if people can't see it, they don't know where it is, especially with uh, Zoom. So I need you to be my eyes and ears. Once this opens up, I'm going to bring the Zoom monitor over and you let me know if you can see it because sometimes when we're sharing, um, it will not share everything. So it looks like you guys can see that so far. Yep, we see it. We can see mm -hmm. it. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to bring over the Zoom window. All right, so this is the new movement. What we're talking about here is these control panels down here at the bottom. Let me minimize this one. Right, so you have, you have a button that says notes at the bottom, right? Yep, has notes. So now if we open up here, uh, so here's this note we just created a few minutes ago. It's here. And if we wanted to, we could click on it and then, um, you know, everyone can, can see the note. And if we were in a Zoom meeting, then, uh, and you wanted participants to add to it, they could. So it's down here, notes. So I just wanted you guys to know where what where, where I'm seeing it at. Um, I think on Windows Zoom, Jerry, the buttons are at the top of the top of the uh, window here. I think that's the difference. One of the differences between Mac and um, no, it's still at the bottom. It's still okay. at the bottom. It's, it only goes to the top when you're when you're uh, sharing. Got it. And then more. If it's not if it's not on your uh, regular panel, you can find it in the more tab if you don't see it on your regular panel. So that is the, that is one of the Zoom features um, that I think is, is one of the new features, and uh, again, it's outside of Zoom, which is kind of weird, kind of strange that Zoom would would do that, but that's where they're going. Um, and the same thing with this one is surveys, right? And surveys is is very very you know kind of same, but you can create these questions um, and multiple choice answers. You can also create quizzes, so it's polls and quizzes that you can create, and then once you create one. You can then send that link to someone and they don't have to have a Zoom account and they're able to take that survey or that poll. Uh, so, again, you can pull it up in a meeting. You can ask people in the meeting, but you can also send it to everyone outside of the meeting. And the responses will show up uh, inside of your Zoom account. So if there was any surveys and polls here, the answers and stuff would be here for you as the uh, creator of the survey and or poll. So this new feature um surveys inside your zoom account surveys and polls again you can create them and you don't have to go outside so the cool thing is if you need to create a survey or a poll you don't need to go some and get something third party if you already have a zoom account because it's in there and you can use it outside of zoom so you don't need something like survey monkey or some other third party tool um, if you already have a zoom account so i think again interesting that they're doing stuff that you can do outside of the zoom um, but these features are new. You see they're tagged over here, new, and you can check them out. Um, so that that notes that notes thing, Greg. When you're you pull up the notes, it lets you take basically it's letting you take notes inside of a Zoom session. So you have your own note taker, right? Yes. But when, yep. when you're creating a note, when you're creating a note, how do the people? That, so let's say you're in a Zoom meeting. We're in a meeting together. Do they see? Like, how do you share it with the people so they can see it on their screen? Like the note. If we're in the meeting, um, they have, I believe, they have to hit the button too. Yeah, I believe like this one is share, but we're not inside of Zoom, so it's just going to give you a link. Right. Um, here you say ex external users can be invited, but inside of the meeting itself, I believe you can share it on screen. Okay. Um, I haven't used the feature, so I can't say for one hundred percent certain. Um, yeah, cool. But I we got to do know the idea of a note is so you to be able to you know have these notes and you can be able to share it. I just haven't done it so i don't know exactly um from the from the zoom editor right so i was, I was looking at like using that whereas just using the whiteboard um using the notes because it's you know you're typing versus having to draw something with your mind you know it's like so how you could be you can have stuff already pre-written out to show somebody and like hey here's the note and then like what are your thoughts and they could type in it it's like you know it's like a live communication live yeah um, yeah. um collaboration between people in the meeting 
yeah, it, yeah, that's exactly what you could do. Depending on how many people were in there, <laughs> would be telling how many people right. you could do it. But uh, definitely, yeah, you could definitely do it that way. I like it. Excellent. That's I like cool. it. So that's Zoom notes. Let me go back one. Um, and then there's also uh, the surveys and polls. Same thing. You can create them ahead yep. of time, share them even outside of Zoom. And then they have this new one called Clips. And a clip, uh, people were using Zoom to create screen recordings, right? So they would fire up Zoom and they would go record it and they would use it for a screen recording. So Zoom built in a, inside of itself so you could do that without actually having a meeting. Um, and this particular one says you can create clips up to two minutes in a single clip and I can create up to five of them. Um, so you could just hit here, create clip, and then now it would open up a, mm -mm -mm, yeah, it would open up basically Zoom for you to do a recording. Um, and since I already have my camera, I don't want to cause too much confusion with my system. So we're not going to do it, <laughs> but basically you can come here and try clips, right? So if you need to create short um, tutorials and you don't have a third party service like Loom or something like that, you can come try clips inside of Zoom if you already have your Zoom account. So those are some new features inside of Zoom in the regular Zoom platform that you can use and try out. And so you guys need to be aware of those features. Yeah, awesome. I, I think that, uh, you know, Zoom is is looking to compete with some, you know, some other services. And uh, because they have so much of the market share, when they add new things, they can. What I don't like is the fact that, um, and I might have missed it, but I don't believe they send you an email or any sort of training on, hey, we got this cool new feature that you can use notes on how to use it. They just kind of throw it in there and you're kind of like, oh, it says new. I, I see it here. What is it? And you're kind of left in the dark. Um, so it is what it is, yeah. but I wish they would have more uh, information about the new features um, instead of just putting them in there. Yeah, it goes back to what we said earlier about the prompts, right? A lot of this stuff just happens. And in reality, Greg, you know, how often do people log into their Zoom account to see what's in the on the back end side? A lot of people are just like, oh, they bring up Zoom, the app on their desktop or the Zoom on their phone, but they're not actually seeing everything that's happening on the backside of, of all the new you know, changes. You, you'll you get like an update. Like Zoom wants to update. All right, cool. The update. And you're like, well, what does the update do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I will say this. There are things inside of the Zoom marketplace that are gold. There are things inside of the um, Google marketplace that are gold um there i mean these marketplaces inside of certain apps there's things in there that could really blow your mind you have to take the time to uh go find them and Stop. look at them and, and check them out um you know or just show up here to the show and, and i'll tell you because that's what i do <laughs> i go through i find yeah. the gems and i share it with you but uh I, I love doing that some you know some people may not may may not find it as well it's like it's like the old school days of going to the mall to walk around to see what's in there well, we don't yeah. we don't have that same type of experience with the malls anymore because brick and mortars are going away. But it's the same thing. Yeah, sometimes you just got to go to the marketplace and see what is available. Or as Greg said, you know, watch this show, subscribe, share these videos out with your friends to let them know what's available as well. Yeah, you don't have the time to do it. Yep. Yep. So I know you had some I, AppSumo stuff, right? Yes. Before I do, because we talked about it, I'm going to show you guys where to find this marketplace because most people would be like, you didn't show it. I don't know where to get it. What you talking it. about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Like, Zoom marketplace. So in your Zoom account, when you go in there under solutions, there is the marketplace. And pause, pause for a second, Greg. For those who may not know how to get to their Zoom account, that's when you go to zoom.us. Yes. Zoom. So this is, not, this is not something like, it's not going to Zoom on your desktop. You click the Zoom icon. You got to open up a web browser and go to zoom.us. Zoom.us. Once you in there, let's see if I can get back to that. Uh, yep. So I go to my account. So when you log in, they usually bring you right to the dashboard. They call it to the profile. That's usually where they will drop you off at. And then you can go through these other things that we did today. But if you want to find a marketplace, you have to go under solutions and hit this marketplace. And in there, you will find all sorts of cool stuff that you can add to Zoom some paid some free but there is a 
thousands of different things you can add in here. And on the left hand side here, there's different categories of things for you to uh, look through, right? Thousands of things in here for you to find some really cool stuff. So that's where it is, just so you guys know. All right, moving on to the next section. All right, so we're gonna talk about some cool apps that are in AppSumo. And the ones that we are about to share are ones that are uh, new, -er, and so they should be available for you guys to grab up in the next few weeks if you need them. So I'm going to go ahead and share the screen and we're going to talk about um, can Canbox. OK, and so basically what Canbox is, it is a way for you to collect um, documents. Blue, is this the wrong? Nope, this is LinkedIn. OK, so we're going to talk about this one. This is LinkedIn. <laughs> so this one is uh, a way for you to generate leads on LinkedIn. So if you are looking to generate leads, and, you're, and your, your ideal prospects are on LinkedIn, you may wanna look at this. This is a really um, powerful solution that I think could benefit you from generating leads. Um, it has some features in here that allows you to import leads from searches um, and posts and events and groups. And it allows you to basically do some outreach. Um, come here, watch this video. It allows you to scrape, um, sort, and message people and create like a CRM inside of this system and you get the leads from LinkedIn. So I think for a price point starting at $49, basically you're saving 73%. I would definitely highly look at it. If you know your leads are on LinkedIn, you wanna come check this out. The video was very informative. It shows you exactly how it works. And if that's something you need, I would definitely highly check this out. Um, and basically you can have plan one or two. So either at $50 or at $98 and you get more stuff for the, the higher plan, but you definitely want to um, check it out. It gives you labels and tags, allows you to bulk message, um, create bulk action. It has a CRM pipeline, uh, Kanban board capability. Um, so yeah, if your leads are on LinkedIn and you don't have a way to, to, uh, get to them, I down, highly recommend you guys come check this out. This looks like a gem, Jerry. You know, I, I think that most most people um, who are looking for leads on LinkedIn, um, there are tools out there, but I think this one is is one they definitely worth checking out. So that's my right. thoughts on that one. Um, do you do a lot of prospecting on LinkedIn? Yes, I mean. LinkedIn, I, tr I, I try to promote on all the social media platforms, except for um, one that's only one letter. And I'm not, as, I'm not on there as much. Um, but yeah, but I change my, my messaging on each one. I talk differently on LinkedIn than I do on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I do the same. Okay. This next one is called OK Send. And we are on OK Send. And what it does, it, it allows you to collect documents from clients. So if you are or know of an accountant or someone that needs documentation and they are struggling with trying to find stuff in email and Dropbox and all these other ones, this would be one platform that you can use to get um, files that you can have that send a link to that uh, client and it will give them not only a way for them to upload their files, but also create a checkbox so that they can check off the files that they've sent to you. So you have them um, a great way for you to keep your team organized and organize file collection from clients. So if you're looking for a way and have a need to organize the way you get files from clients, highly check out OK Send. It is available on AppSumo starting at $59 for a lifetime deal. Come check that out. Um, and we'll scroll down here and they have plans starting from uh, $59 going up to just under $200. And it will give you from um, 20 client requests per month um, to 50 a month and give you more storage and custom branding on a higher plan. So if you need to collect files, from clients or know someone that does, let them know about OK Send. It can save so much time in that process. 
All right, we're going to hit up our last one, and that is video magic. So listen, right. um, I know in one in, in several of our groups, we have a lot of real estate professionals. And uh, when I first saw this, I was thinking, oh, I want to see if this could be good for anything. But what I learned is that it's good for anything, but it's really especially good for those in the real estate industry. So um, for our syndication group that groups that are in the real estate niche, definitely check out Video Magic just dropped on AppSumo. And basically it allows you to create um, videos um, quickly and easily for your products and services. It will create kind of like a, a, uh, a, a video for a property, um, has a real estate thing built in there and it will allow you to put the video in all sorts of different formats. So it's especially good for e-commerce and real estate. So if you have an e-commerce or know someone, definitely recommend and have them check out uh, Video Magic on AppSumo one-time deal. And you will get all sorts of features with this uh, service. And um, this one doesn't have a video, but check it out. And the prices start from $69 going up to three tiers. Is there more than three tiers? No, no, three tiers. And um, ending at just under $300 for the highest tier. Um, a, a savings of 84%. Normal retail price is over $2,300 for the full. And this allows you to do um, up to seven videos per month, um, all the way up to 40 videos per month. So check out Video Magic on AppSumo if you are a real estate professional or e-commerce um, store and see how this service can help you create videos to help you sell more of your products um, or properties. And that's what I got as far as our resources for today. Awesome, man. Yeah, man. I was, cool. I, was, I was initially hoping Video Magic would create videos for everything, um, but they really specialize in the e-commerce and real estate niche. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so um, listen, if you guys haven't already done so, um, I will share with you one thing that we did pick up. Um, and I've started playing with it, but I will give you guys more information on that. It's still available for the next uh, seven to eight days. And that one is called. Where are we at? Boom, this one. It is called One Take. So uh, One Take allows you to, thus the name, create one video. It will edit out your ums and ahs for the most part or sneezes. Um, but it will also create a list of topics that you're speaking about right next to you and, and create a, a pretty cool video. So I'm going to be playing with one take. I'm excited about it. It's still available, but it is going to end uh, in eight days at the time of this uh, show. So if you want it, you can grab it. Um, highly recommend it. It's one that we talked about before, but we did pick it up and we'll be um, reporting back to you and actually using it with our program. So with that, man, that is kind of it. That is what we've been working on this week. I hope you guys found some value in this. And I want to thank um, our syndication partners. Um, Jerry, any last words, sir? No, nah, man, we're good to go. I look forward to next week. So I, I think we, uh, based on some of the previews I've seen, we got some um, some more AppSumo deals that are going to be um, worth sharing. because we, We're always in there checking things out. Just like Greg said, you may not have the time to go shopping. So we will do the shopping for you. Like they used to say with the yellow pages, let your fingers do the walking. So let our <laughs> fingers do the walking for you to find those deals. But you got to tune in, though. If you don't tune in, you're going to miss it. And some of these deals, you know, you don't want to miss. I, I definitely know that for sure. You don't want to miss it. One is gone. Some of them never come back. Yeah, man. And I listen, there are and we did a show on it about how you can find these these products after the fact. However, um, the people that buy them know that how valuable they are and the price to get them after the fact is, uh, it, it's not close to this deal. It's still a deal versus paying monthly, but, um, you know, we're talking like 900, 1200, $1,500 for the product, um, that they will pick up for $69 or $300 and, you know, they will five X their money and just wait for someone who wants it because, 
as these things, you know, get popular and get good, they have they have that value and they mean it's it's crazy, Jerry, because there's a whole industry of people who will, will buy these deals, wait for the deal to close, and then then offer it to to <laughs> to get it and could use it while they're waiting for right before they sell it. Anyway, it's it's you know, entrepreneurs are always gonna find a way to to make a dollar. And it's it's interesting to see some of the things that, that people are doing. But uh, my point is this is the best time to get it if you're interested. Um, you know, you got, you got the, you got the 60 day guarantee to, to get your money back and absolutely will be real quick to give your money back if you are not happy with it. Um, but if you missed the deal on AppSumo, you can still get it. It just will cost you a lot more. Um, or you can just pay the monthly fee. So that's what's up. And, uh, I hope it's you guys my put you know, in the, grab the some comments. Yeah. AppSumo is AKA app FOMO, right? It is, it is the fear of missing out sometimes. Yes, sir. Definitely- yes, it is. Yes, it is. And uh, thanks for your comment. All right, brother. Until next week, we'll be looking out for some new deals to share with you. So if you're not a member, definitely check out Technology Tuesday. We are here every single week. Follow us on our social medias as well. Uh, ask Greg Russell, uh, at Jerry Poe. So we look forward to seeing you. Until then, uh, you know, have a great week. Be blessed. Take care.